Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a quick energizing Pilates flow for you. So when you're ready to get started, roll out your mat and let's begin. Standing at the top edge of your mat with your feet hip distance apart, inhale, reach your arms up towards the ceiling, interlace your fingers. Exhale, side bend over to your right, keeping a soft bend through your knees. Inhale back through center. Exhale, side bend over to your left. Come back through center. Reach your arms out by your side. Take a nice big inhale. Then exhale, round your spine, sweep your arms forward. Inhale, open your chest, open your arms. Exhale, round your spine, sweep your arms forward. Let's do two more of these. Really breathing into this movement, waking up our spine. Beautiful. Interlace your hands behind your back now. Inhale, open your chest, taking your gaze slightly up. Then exhale, bend your knees and fold over your legs, letting your arms fall back behind you, feeling a nice stretch through your shoulders. Really breathe into this stretch here. Nice inhales and exhales. Then very carefully roll your spine back up to standing. Inhale, reach your arms up to the ceiling and exhale, or lower them down by your side. Heel toe your feet out now so that they are mat distance apart in parallel. Reach your arms up, then hinge forward from your hips on your inhale. Exhale, bend your knees, fold over your legs and roll your spine up. And again, reach your arms up, inhale, hinge forward. Exhale, bend your knees, fold over your legs and carefully roll up. Let's do this a few more times. And one more, really drawing your navel in as you hinge forward and then rippling your spine up to standing. Beautiful. Turn your heels in now so your feet are turned out. Draw your navel in and on your inhale, squat down exhale press up so inhale as you squat exhale as you press up really shifting your weight back into your heels sending your glutes far behind you but making sure that you're drawing your navel up towards your spine keeping that nice core engagement let's do two more And last one, hold a low in your squat, pull your elbows back and then reach forward. So you pull back and reach. Nice exhale as you pull, inhale as you reach. Try to stay nice and low through your legs here. Keep lifting up through your navel and really work those arms. Last one. Let's return to those squats. So inhale, squat down, sit those hips low, exhale, press up. Try to create nice big circles with your arms as well so that our arms are nice and warm, ready for our workout. Just two more. And last one, hold low in your squat, lift your left heel up and lower, then your right heel and lower. Just breathing naturally here, trying to control the lift and lower of your heels as best you can. Now keep the heel lifts going. Let's add a pulse down and down. So you pulse and pulse. You've got it. Let's do six more. Five, four, three, two, and one. 
Well done. Press up to standing. Heel toe your feet back to hip distance apart in parallel. Take a nice inhale, expand through your chest and exhale, fold over your legs, taking a nice soft bend through your knees. Take a moment here to just hang, holding on to opposite elbow with opposite hand, swaying side to side, releasing any tension through your back. Then release your hands down to the mat and walk your hands forward, finding your high plank position. Shoulders over wrists, draw your navel in and make sure that your feet are hip distance apart. On your inhale, press back into downward dog, bend your knees, then exhale, shoot forward to plank. So you inhale, press back, bend your knees, exhale, shoot forward. Keep going. This is a really great exercise for warming up the whole entire body, getting our core fired up as well as our shoulders and our legs. Hold in your plank and let's alternate tapping knees to the floor. So you just tap and tap, keeping everything else nice and still. You're just tapping one knee at a time to the floor. Just two more. Last one. Well done. Set your right knee down underneath your right hip and lower down onto your forearms. Let's lift our left leg up, keeping your hips parallel to the floor. Then inhale, bend your knee in and exhale, extend back. So inhale, bend, exhale, extend. Just six more of these. Make sure that you are not arching your spine as you kick your leg back. So keep drawing up through your navel and dropping your ribs down towards your hips. Last one, hold your leg extended. Let's take some rainbow legs. So tap your left leg across to the right, lift and then over to the left and lift. So you tap across, lift, tap to the left, and lift really try to keep everything else nice and still it's just the leg moving here hold your leg through center now and press up onto your hands coming in to a push-up position on your inhale bend your elbows exhale press up inhale pull your left knee to your left tricep exhale extend so elbows bend press left knee pulls wide Extend, nice inhale, exhale, inhale, pull, exhale, extend. Keep going. Keep reaching through your left toes, keeping a nice strong left leg as you come down into your push up. Just one more, you can do it. Beautiful job. Hold your leg extended and if you can, reach your right arm out by your ear. Let's pulse our arm and leg up just for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Set your right hand down and press back into your downward facing dog. Take a moment to pedal your heels, alternate bending your knees. Then press both heels down into the mat and walk your hands back towards your feet. Keeping a soft bend through your knees, roll your spine all the way up to standing. And let's take our hands behind our head with our elbows wide and take high knees to chest. You just lift and lift. Nice exhale and exhale. Now add a twist, you exhale twist and twist, bringing opposite elbow to opposite knee, just six more, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Let's take a nice inhale again, reaching your arms up, exhale, dive forward. Walk your hands forward, finding your high plank position again, and let's repeat that all on the other side. So inhale, press back to downward dog, bend your knees, exhale, shoot forward. You press back, bend your knees, 
and shoot forward. Just a few more like this. Last one. Beautiful, hold in your plank and let's take those knee taps. You just tap and tap. Breathing naturally here, focusing on pressing through your shoulders and lifting up through your navel, keeping that core engaged. Last two, last one, good. Let's lower our left knee now underneath our left hip and come down onto your forearms. Making sure your hips are parallel to the floor, lift your right leg up. Inhale, bend your right knee. Exhale, extend. Inhale, bend. Exhale, extend. Just six more like this. Make sure that you're really pressing through your shoulders and you're keeping your gaze in between your hands so that your neck stays nice and in line with the rest of your spine. One more, hold your leg extended. Let's take those rainbow kicks over to the left, lift then to the right and lift. Nice inhale as you tap, exhale as you lift. Trying to keep everything else nice and still. Well done. Press up onto your hands now, keeping your right leg extended. Inhale, bend your elbows for your push-up. Exhale, press. Inhale, pull your right knee wide. Exhale, extend. So you bend, press, pull, extend. Nice. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, pull. Exhale, extend. Keep going. You've got it. Really bend your elbows in by your waistline as much as you can to switch on those triceps. One more. Good job, hold your leg extended. And if you can, reach your left arm by your ear. Let's lift our arm and leg up just for eight, Seven, nice, exhale and exhale. Four more, three, two and one. Well done, press yourself back into your downward facing dog and take this time again to pedal those knees and feet out, releasing any tension through the back of your legs. Then walk your hands back towards your feet and roll up to standing. Let's come into a wide second position now with your feet nice and wide and your toes turned out. Inhale, plie down, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Reaching those arms out by your side, really keeping your spine as straight as you can. Last one, let's hold low. Take your left hand onto your hip and on your inhale, let's push over to our left leg and exhale, plie down. So you press and lower. Really energizing through your right leg to push yourself over to the left. Just two more. Last one, hold to your left and on your exhale, pull right elbow to right knee Inhale, extend. So you pull and reach. Nice, exhale, inhale. Five more. And four, you've got it. Three, keep a nice soft bend through your left knee. Last one. Well done, come back through center and let's switch sides. So right hand onto your hip, let's push over to the right and plie. Nice, inhale and exhale. Trying to keep your spine as straight as you can as you come back down into your plie, really controlling your landing. Last one, let's hold over to the right. Left elbow, left knee, let's go. You pull and stretch. Nice, exhale and inhale. Just five more. Four, you've got it. Three, two, 
and one beautiful back through center let's revisit those plies down and up nice inhale and exhale hopefully you are feeling nice and warm at this point you should really be feeling it through your legs last one hold in your plie and let's finish with some pulses down and down you've got it just four more three two and one well done reach your arms up to the ceiling turn your feet to parallel exhale fold over your legs coming into a wide legged forward fold holding on to the back of your calves if that feels good for you or just letting your hands and arms rest on the mat wherever you are take nice deep breaths then lift your chest and slowly pivot yourself to the front side of your mat and lower down onto your glutes Finding a seated position, let's carefully roll our spine all the way down to our back. Walk your heels in slightly with your feet hip distance apart. Take your hands behind your head with your elbows wide. On your exhale, let's curl our head and shoulders up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Really thinking of that rib to hip connection as you curl your head and shoulders up, saying hello to those abdominals if you haven't already said hello to them. Just two more. Last one, hold your head and shoulders lifted, imprint your spine and lift your legs to a tabletop position, squeezing your thighs together. Reach your arms by your hips, getting ready for your hundreds. On your inhale, press your legs away from you, flexing your feet. And then exhale, pull your knees in. So you inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Really pressing those heels away from you as you extend your legs out. Really reach through your fingertips, pumping those arms nice and strong generating lots of heat through the body. Make sure your lower back is pressing down into the mat and that you're only extending your legs as low as you can without arching your spine. You've got it, just two more like this. Keep breathing. Last one. So good. Hold your knees in towards your chest, take your hands behind your head, and let's do some bicycle legs for 10 and nine. Nice, exhale and exhale. Just six more, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, hug your knees in, rest your head. Take a well-deserved little rest. And then let's take our feet onto the mat, shuffle them in towards your glutes, make sure they're hip distance apart. Tuck your pelvis under and roll your hips up, finding your bridge position. Inhale, lower your hips, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Really make sure that you're pressing down through the heels of your feet and you're finding that nice squeeze through the base of your glutes as you lift your hips up. Two more. Last one. Hold your hips lifted. If you can, extend your arms up to the ceiling. On your inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. So keeping everything else super still, it's just the heels lifting and lowering. Keep tucking your pelvis under, squeezing your glutes. Two more. And last one, hold your heels lifted. Let's do a little combo. So inhale, lower your hips, exhale, lift. Inhale, open your knees, exhale, close. So you lower, lift, open, and close. 
just closing your knees back to hip distance apart. You've got it. This time really pressing down through the balls of your feet, but make sure that you're still tucking your pelvis under, keeping any arch out of your back. Let's do one more. Hold your knees in parallel and let's finish with some pulses. Just for eight and seven. Nice exhale and exhale. Four more, three, two, and one. So good, lower your heels, roll your hips down a vertebra by vertebra and draw your knees in towards your chest. Lift your head and shoulders up, reaching your hands by your hips and lift your hips off the floor on your exhale. Inhale, lower your head, extend your arms and legs out. Then exhale, curl up, make a tight ball and lift your hips. Keep going. Really try to control this movement as best you can so that you're really using your lower abdominals to lift your hips up versus relying on momentum. So avoid swinging your legs. You've got it. Exhale, curl up. Inhale, extend. Last one, hold your curl. Let your hips rest down on the mat and let's do our scissors. So hands behind your head, elbows wide and let's scissor switch our legs. Just for eight, seven, nice exhale and exhale four, three, two, and one, eight more, eight, seven, you've got it, six, five, nice strong legs, three, two, and one, well done, hope you enjoyed that little surprise, turn your head right and left to release any tension, and then from here, let's do our seal, so open your knees, keep your toes together, Reach your hands through your legs and hold on to the outsides of your ankles. On your exhale, let's rock back. Inhale, roll up, finding your balance, keeping your toes off the floor. Then exhale, round your spine, roll back. Inhale, roll up, find your balance. Keep going. This should feel really nice for your spine. Let's do two more. And one more. Beautiful, holding at the top, let's release our legs forward now. Keep your right leg straight and let's open our left knee out to the side, bringing the sole of your left foot to your inner thigh. Inhale, reach your arms up and exhale, fold over your right leg, reaching towards your right toes. Taking nice deep breaths in this well-deserved stretch. Then carefully roll up, bend your right knee in and holding on to the outside of your right foot with your left hand, Flex your foot and if you can, extend your right leg directly out in front of you. Either stay here or place your right hand onto the mat and look over your right shoulder, finding a nice twist through your spine. Then come back through center, release your right leg and let's switch sides. Straighten your left leg, flexing your foot and open your right knee out to the side. Inhale, reach your arms up and exhale, hinge forward. Trying to keep both sitting bones rooting down into the floor as you stretch over your left leg. Then carefully roll up, bend your left knee in Holding on to the outside of your left foot this time with your right hand, let's flex our left foot and stretch it out in front of us. Either stay here sitting up nice and tall or if you can, twist over your left shoulder. Really breathing into this twist.
carefully come back through center and release your left leg. Let's find a comfortable cross-legged position on our mat now, sitting up nice and tall. Inhale, reach your right arm up. Exhale, side bend over to your left. And then turn your chest to the floor and swing your arms over to the other side, reaching your left arm over and then come back up to seated. Let's reverse that. Inhale, reach your left arm up. Exhale, side bend over to the right. Turn your chest to the floor, swing your arms over to the other side and come back up. Let's do this two more times, really flowing into this movement here, moving at your own pace, doing whatever feels good for you. Last one. Beautiful job. Let's finish class like always, sitting up nice and tall. Inhale, reach your arms up towards the ceiling and exhale, lower your hands down to prayer. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this quick energizing Pilates class. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to like this video, leave me a comment, Share this video with a friend or family member and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much again and I look forward to seeing you next time.